fall of the Berlin Wall, but as we know, it didn't really take root because it was not a grassroots movement. It was imposed from outside. It was imposed by the elite. It was just really kind of a, another foil by the elite to continue to oppress, to continue to exploit the majority of the population. The last question I have is about this about the Congo is how do you respond to those people who say that one of the biggest problems that countries like the Congo have is that when they get good people, good educated people like yourself, they leave? Yeah, that's the the put it in the form of a statement. Okay. Yeah. The, the one thing that could help a country such as Congo to basically recreate its own system, um, become more democratic, become economically prosperous. It's the contribution of the African diaspora or the Congolese diaspora. Uh, we have statistics that show that, for example, um, in Nigeria, but Congo as well, there are more Congolese doctors outside of Congo than there are in Congo itself. So now imagine for the health system of this country, the Congo, if at least maybe one third or half of those medical, uh, those doctors who um, are working in Europe, working in the United States, were to go back. We could just say the same thing about professors. I mean, I'm myself a professor. I'm here teaching American students in the middle of this country, and I'm not actually contributing to helping young people in Congo. If I were to go back to Congo, I would, of course, uh, I mean, my, the impact that I would have in Congo would be much greater than the impact that I have here. But the problem that we are facing, people like me, is that the conditions in Congo are not, are difficult for us to have the same kind of life we have here, the same kind of contribution. The political system would not allow us, for example, to teach the kind of curriculum that we want to teach. So those are some of the problems that are keeping the African diaspora, the Congolese diaspora, outside of Congo and not enticing them to go back to Congo to contribute to the well-being of their country. Perfect. That's what I was wanting to get at. <laughs> Um, all right, let's talk a little bit about Paris. Uh, 